Hi everyone, it's Diane Buswell here and I am playing fill in the blanks with women's health. The one thing I would tell my 18 year old self would be Don't be afraid to ask questions. There have been so many times that I have thought a question was too silly to ask or I'd be just afraid to ask it. I don't know why, I was just scared and thought people would think, Diane, why would you ask such a stupid question? No question is stupid. If you want to ask a question, raise your hand, ask the question, talk and people will talk back to you and give you an answer. My partner would tell me my worst habit is leaving the cupboard doors open. I mean, I do this a lot. I'm hoping a lot of other people out there do this. Whenever I open a door, I just, I just don't close it. My mum would say, were well, you born in a tent? And I definitely wasn't, but I do leave all the cupboard doors open. Sorry, Joe. My favorite way to work out is dancing and yoga. Um, for obvious reasons, dancing has been my life since I was like four years old. And I sort of recently discovered yoga in my late 20s. And I just absolutely love it. I feel like when I'm not dancing, I just love to do yoga. So I think these would be my two favorites. My ultimate guilty pleasure would have to be rainy days, popcorn, and a good movie. I mean, oh, I just love the sound of rain hitting the, hitting the roof with the smell of popcorn. And I would say like, like I love a Disney classic. Uh, that just sounds like heaven to me. My biggest regret in life would be, no regrets. I just think things happen and I always feel like it's happened for a reason. So I don't like to look back on it as a regret. I kind of look at it as if that didn't happen, this wouldn't have happened or that wouldn't have happened. So yeah, I just think everything happens for a reason. If I didn't do what I do now, I would be hairdressing or I would love to be doing nutrition. Hairdressing uh, purely because I was a hairdresser before dancing. I'm a fully qualified hairdresser, so I'd probably still be doing that, I think. Um, I absolutely loved it. And nutrition is something I have also recently just fell in love with. I am actually doing a nutrition course at the moment. So um, I am kind of fulfilling that dream a little bit and I'm really enjoying it. So I think these two things would be definitely up there as my things to do if I wasn't dancing so much. My biggest fan is Joe and my dad because um, I, I guess Joe just because you know, he loves me, so he's, he's a big fan. Um, and I'm a big fan of him as well. And my dad, obviously, because he's my dad and he loves everything I do. Um, and I still think I'm my dad's like little girl. I swear he still thinks I'm like five, which I'm okay with. Um, yeah, we have a very, very loving relationship, me and my dad. So he's super proud of me and so is Joe. Something I should do more often is, call my nan and pop, who are currently in Australia, have lived there their whole life. Um, yeah, I think this, I just should do it more regularly. I definitely do call them. Um, but I think my schedule gets so busy that sometimes it can be a week or two weeks where I haven't, you know, touched base with them. And I think it's really important. They both live um, on their own, which is sad, but um, I just think, yeah, checking in with them is, is so important and they absolutely love it when I call them. So yeah, I think I should definitely make more of a regular effort to do this. The worst thing about being well known would be trolls. Um, I think this also happens though, even if you aren't well known. I just think it's a really sad thing that does happen, but I think people think they have a right to 
say exactly what they want to you, even if it does or may hurt your feelings. Um, yeah, it's not very nice. And I think um, whoever is being trolled, it's awful for. So like I say, it doesn't have to mean you're well known. It can happen to anyone at any time, but it's not very nice. The best thing about being well known is the supportive people, um, because I guess with you know every bad comment that you get, there are hundreds of really positive and lovely people that actually really support what you do, and um, and that is a really really nice feeling. So it's it's nice to be recognised for your talent and your um, your energy or what whatever it is. It, it's a really nice feeling to know that you have people that support you. My biggest skincare mistake is not using sun cream enough when I was younger and uh, makeup wipes. So um, obviously I am Australian, the sun is crazy over there. Um, and I feel like I probably d definitely didn't use uh, SPF on my face every day, which I 100% use every day now um, and super important. Uh, and uh, makeup wipes. I am quite guilty of just using makeup wipes quite a lot rather than doing like a proper cleanse. If I'm, you know, come home from a show really late, just makeup wipe, it'll be fine. But I think it's really important, especially after shows and stuff, to really properly cleanse with, with the right ingredients for your skin um, and maybe not use as many makeup wipes. If I could eat one food forever, which I mean, I'd probably get sick of it, but I do love this food. Um, it would be rice paper rolls, a bit of a random choice. Um, they're also known as a Vietnamese roll, uh, but it's like you have rice paper, you put sort of whatever you want in it really. Um, I like to do like tofu. I think you could put lettuce in there, rice noodles go in there. And it's all about the dipping sauce. So there's like a lovely peanut dipping sauce that goes very well with the Vietnamese roll. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite dishes. So yeah, I could easily eat that for a long, a long period of time. <laughs> Maybe not forever. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Women's Health UK's YouTube channel.